Georgia Tech, your daily podcast on the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hey, everybody, and welcome into another episode of Locked On Georgia Tech. Hope you had a fantastic weekend. My name is Bryce Kuhn, the host of the show, as always, and hope you're ready to start off another week that, hey, there was no, no shortage, not nor, no shortage of news. I want to let you know that I appreciate you making Locked On Georgia Tech your first listen each and every single day. And I also want to let you know that today's episode is brought to you by Sonos. Experience the game like never before with Sonos Arc the premium smart soundbar for TV, music, movies, and more. Visit Sonos.com to learn more. We've got an action-packed show for you today, and a lot of news lines and not a lot of um, storylines came out over the weekend. Obviously, the commitment of Juju Lewis. We'll talk about that later on in the uh, week. Maybe tomorrow we'll touch on that stu- subject. But I want to talk about what happened on Friday, and that was the – Introductory press conference, finally, of Offensive Coordinator Chip Long. And it's kind of some of my takeaways of why I like Coach Long. And uh, maybe this team has something that they're missing. But, hey, I want to encourage you, if you're watching on YouTube, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell, set up the notifications so that you can be a part of the Locked on Georgia Tech family. If you're listening in on the podcast as well, wherever you may get your podcast feed from, make sure to subscribe to the feed, leave us a review if you can, and we keep on rolling. If you want to know more about the show or you want to know more about our Discord, Discord, hit the right there, the link at Bryce underscore Coon. It's going to be linked down in the Twitter below or in the YouTube link below. Follow me, ask questions, whatever you need. And if I know a lot of you already follow me, let's keep making this an awesome podcast. Well, let's dive right into today's show. Georgia Tech brings in Chip Long. Now, fast forward back to December when the hire was made. A lot of faces, you know, there was a lot of rumors about who could go there, and it wasn't the sexiest name on the market, and, and so all of that has to happen, and we get that. But after the press conference, let's let's talk about what Georgia Tech lacked last season and what they needed. What Georgia Tech lacked last season was really creativity on offense. I talked a lot about in the preview of the season over on GoJackets.com that this was a team that, had skill position weapons, but lacked the interior. And that's exactly the diagnostic that we got from this past season. They had skill position players, running back receivers, but they had didn't have the necessary offensive line, and that would be the downfall of this team. Well, it turned out it was. But when that happens, I think the frustrating thing, and, and we can separate it for fans, was the lack of creativity once we saw how bad the offensive line was going to be. Once you saw that, it's like, okay, let's don't bang our heads up against the door over and over again. Let's try to get creative, get our players in space, and do something to help them out. Guys like Jameer Gibbs, guys like Kyrie McGowan, who showed early on they had that prowess to be an elite playmaker for this offense. Well, it never happened. It never quite formulated under the previous uh, offensive coordinator like I think people wanted it to. And so the frustration set in. You've got – in the midst of that seven-game losing streak, you saw, you know, just to me was just boneheaded play calling. It just obviously we saw, you know, the offensive line held back what this offense could do, but part of it is you got to be a little more creative. And that was what the fan base, that's what you were calling for, and we saw it needed to happen. Fast forward to December. Chip Long comes on staff as offensive coordinator, and now this coaching staff is starting to be filled out even more at that time. And we sit here in January and we say, okay, well, what – has been brought to the table schematically-wise. We know Chip Long loves to use the tight ends. They bring in Luke Benson, and you're going to have Devaney come back as well. That that bodes well. Benson is a pass-catching tight end type of player. Obviously, you lose when you lack the creativity, and there was some players that said they didn't want to wait around to see kind of what happened, whether that was due to the losses or due to lack of creativity and lack of potential to get to the NFL. Some players left. Other players exhausted their eligibility. But I think what happened and what we have to sit there and say is what's interesting about what happened to all Georgia Tech's offense is, yes, they had the exodus of transfers, but then you had the one key player come back with Jemias Griffin. And on Friday's episode, a lot of you pinpointed Griffin could be a breakout player for a Georgia Tech's offense. And I like that pick. But when Long came on staff, obviously there's going to be – when you go watch, I mean – Listen, take a go watch the Notre Dame film. Tulane had a weird one-year stint with uh with Chip Long, but there's 
downfield passing. There's the use of the tight end. There's getting athletes in space and allowing them to make plays, which, in my opinion, is what this offense needs, even if the offensive line is not elite this upcoming year, which I don't think we should expect it to be elite, but it should be better. So for me, it was identifying what was the really the cause. We can talk about the offensive line, but I don't feel like the play calling allowed players to be able to have success even with a bad offensive line. Well, now with Chip Long, and we're going to talk a little bit more about some of the quotes that stood out to me in that press conference that he, we had on that we were I got to take part of on Friday, and it was the biggest thing was just this is going to have this. It's going to be more. The expectations going to be more, and so. I think that's good for fans to hear. Listen, there's a lot of things where I think, no, a lot of fans were saying, oh, that's nice to hear. You want to see the results. And it's a prove it to me. And that's understandable. I get that. But I think that there will be some prove it. You will be proved uh, with what they're trying to do. Now, whether that's successful with the playmakers, that'll be something we'll have to watch. But I think it's really interesting to see Chip Long, the the the, the transition from Pat No to Long is going to be something that's going to be very, very different. It's going to touch on some of the needs that needed to happen last year. And I think what makes people excited and what should have you excited about it is if the play, if the offensive line play is better, Chip Long is going to have more success. I think the ceiling for Chip Long is higher than the ceiling under Pat Nose offense. And listen, you know, I think it's going to be very interesting to watch. You're going to have a quarterback battle on your hands. There's a lot of things to be excited for. I think when you talk about and what we've said so far is, What's the biggest difference from 2021 to 2022? And I think the biggest difference is you're going to have a guy that can scheme plays and is willing to scheme plays even when things are not going right. And that and that's a key component for an offense. There's no doubt about it. Hey, I want to let you know, Georgia Tech fans, that my name is Bryce Kuhn, as you know, you can see right there. And I want to tell you about this incredible app that everyone who needs to buy gas knows about. And there's very few of us that actually don't buy gas. My listeners right now are making up to 25 cents for every gallon of gas every single time they fill up. Just download the free GetUpside app in the App Store or Google Play right now. Use promo code SCORE and get a bonus 25 cents per gallon on your first fill up. That's up to 50 cents cash back. Don't pay full price at the pump anymore. Get cash back using GetUpside. Just download the app for free and use promo code SCORE for college to get a 50% gallon, 50 cents gallon cash back on your first tank. Some people who drive a lot are making as much as two to $300 a month back on gas. And listen, there's no catch. I get that. The cashback gets added right back to your account. You can have it as Amazon. You can get PayPal, e-gift card, any other brand that you want. You can get that money back too. So just go to your app store, whether it's on Google, anything you need, get the free upside app today and make sure to use that code SCORE. We talked a little bit about the difference between then and now. And, and I want to point out some of the quotes. So if you followed me on Twitter, which I told you that, you know, what you should try to do. And there was a couple of things that let's talk about what stood out to me. First off is the, the scheme change. Anytime that you have a new offensive coordinator come in, you're going to kind of have this new look, this new brand. And remember three years, four years ago. When Jeff Collins came in, this new staff, I'll never forget sitting there during the spring game. The first play was a pass to the tight end, and the whole stands went crazy. This is a spring game that was packed out for Georgia Tech back in uh, 2018 or whatever it was. So I think that that was something that's – or 2019. That, that's something that was very interesting is to see what happens when a new, new scheme comes into play. And I think that, you know, for Chip Long – the biggest thing he said, and this is what it stuck out to me, I'm reading it right here, tempo will be a major change for these guys. It's going to be different, different personnel. We're going to be featuring the tight ends and more. And you kind of dive in, what does that mean? Well, listen, a lot of you, to me, and, and I'll say this, if I'm an offense that struggles, but I've got great athletes, and maybe the offensive line, one thing that can help you out is not allowing the defense to settle in and, no, and, and be able to make substitutions. Well, that's why we've seen the rise of tempo offense. And I think what Chip Long said right there is like, listen, we know that, and I don't, I don't want to put words into his mouth, but this is what I would think. We know that we're not going to go out there and just have the best athletes against everyone on our schedule in 2022. But what we do know is that we can be better conditioned, and that's one thing Chip Long hit in the, in the press conference. We can be in the weight room. We can be strong. We can do all these things, and we can run high tempo which doesn't allow for an experienced defense or a really good defense to get their subs off or to get calls in in time. And we may, may maybe it's 
five, six plays a game, but we catch them off guard for them and make a big play. And if you're talking about big play football, how many times could Georgia Tech have used five or six big plays down the field offensively? It could we we could be talking this team coming off a six or seven win season if that happens. So Chip Long's ability to elevate a I don't want to say a position group because really an entire side of the football and say, listen, we're going to be more well conditioned. We're going to do all these things so that we can run higher tempo. And in the off chance, listen, in the new age of college football, a lot of teams and defenses are prepared for tempo. But there's five, let's say, let's let's just say five plays every game where you take advantage. And if you win those five plays, and I called this on our on my own uh, talk show that I have, if you if you win those five plays, if you win a key play, five plays can make the difference in a football game. And I think that was something interesting that stuck out stuck out to me because the ability to take it and say, okay, we are going to try to win those key plays. Yeah, we know we're not going to go in there. We're not going to have the best athlete personnel because there's some really talented teams on this schedule. We know that. But if we can run tempo enough to where we feel like we can catch them off guard for, let's say, four, five, six plays a game, and we capitalize on that, then you're talking about, I mean, we ran the numbers last year. I think it was the Notre Dame game or the Georgia game where the defense for Georgia Tech gave up like four or five plays of 20-plus yards. That changed the game. Now, I know it was a blowout, but that changes the dynamic of the game. It changes the mentality, the psyche of the players. Imagine if your offense could do that. Imagine if you could challenge a defense and catch them off guard, and who knows, Jeff Sims you know, hits a guy like Nate McCollum over the middle on a deep post, and he runs into the end zone on a 37-yard touchdown catch, and now you're talking about the defense looking around and saying, we weren't even ready. What that does to a psyche, and it allows for different things to be opened up, and that's what excites me about the creativity of what Chip Long can bring. Here's another one thing for you. Is it, and it was talk about the new offensive coaching staff in general. And this is just kind of where we're all talking about Chip Long today. He said, I think it's good for us to have fresh ideas and faces. The kids and the staff are really excited to start this new chapter. Now, listen, there's going to be the people who sit in the comment section with four followers, and they're going to sit here and say, well, you know, of course it is, because they sucked last year. And okay, whatever. But what Chip Long is essentially saying right here is, for a athlete to have fresh ideas, that can excite an athlete. It also can excite a coaching staff. And maybe over the past three seasons, some players have become increasingly, I don't want to say bored, but just, oh, yeah, that's the offense we're going to run, and it's not as exciting. And maybe that leads to certain players leaving. And, and we can't talk about the players leaving because it's already gone, and now you got to deal with what's here. But having that fresh idea and fresh face, if I am a guy like Jeff Sims, and I've kind of known what's happening the past two years in my career. But now I've got a guy who I know coached some big-time football up at Notre Dame. I know that he played in primetime games. I know that he won some of these big games. If I know that, and also I know that he coached a quarterback that's one of the most winningest co uh, quarterbacks in that school's history, it's exciting. And it can ignite a fire under a player that maybe it was there when they were recruited, when they got on campus. But let's just take the guys who have been there for two years, and let's just roll with that, or even three years. When you've won nine games in three years, morale can go down. And I think bringing in this influx of this new idea and really overhauling the entire offensive staff, guys like obviously Chris Winkie, Mike Daniels, and then obviously Chip Long in the situation, what it can do is it can reinvigorate some guys that, hey, you know what? Our first two year, two or three years, yeah, that really sucked. But let's go out on a higher note, or let's propel ourselves to something different this year. And I think that's something that should be interesting to watch because more often than not, it's kind of understated, or it can be overblown in some cases, but I think it's understated how much the psyche of a locker room really matters. And I've talked a lot about this on a show last week that kind of people agree, disagreed with it on what happens in the locker room. But if you can think about, if you have everyone bought in the locker room and you have a lot of players who are just excited to get out there on the play, and then another thing too, guys put in extra time working on their own craft because they're excited about what the plan of the team is, that is the makings and that is the building of the foundation of an elite program. Now, I'm not saying George takes there, but that comment to me stood out as something. That's what a winner says, and I think that was very something about Big Chip Long that was interesting. Another thing about Long's offensive scheme styles, we talked about this, is it's a pro style that goes fast. We want to play at the two-minute pace, and we want to showcase our playmakers. Now, that was one of the tweets that a lot of people commented and said, oh, well, we'd love to showcase our playmakers, but we lost in Alabama. Yeah, there's still some playmakers on this roster. And so 
you know, obviously he likes to use the 12 personnel. It create, he said it creates a, you know, a dilemma for a defense. It creates opportunities for an offense to take advantage of certain matchups. And I, I think that that's interesting. When we come back, I, I want to touch on two last points that Chip Long made because I think it really stands out to what kind of man he is and kind of this new age of college football. Appreciate you making Georgia Tech locked on Georgia Tech. That is your first listen each and every single day. But I want to let you know that Bet Online, listen, I know it's almost February, but they wouldn't want to issue you a happy new betting year. And as they continue to march the playoffs and beyond, they remain the number one spot for all the best sports wagering action for 2022 and beyond. New year with a new updated desktop and mobile website to sign up today. Receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit, and all you have to do is use promo code Locked On to get started. From football, basketball, hockey, NHL, right down to your favorite Vegas casino games, don't wait to take advantage and don't wait to take advantage of all the amazing offers. Bet Online is the fastest and easiest way to wager on all your favorite sports. It's Bet Online where the game starts. Also, we'll let you know this too. If you are interested in a tasty snack and one that's just overall, it's just better for you. Like, let's don't even lie about it. It's better for you. Then I need you to check out my friends over at Built Bar. They do a fantastic job with some tasty treats. And listen, with the new year happening, we're a month in. I hope your resolution's going well. Mine needs to get better. But Built Bar can help you with that. It's the protein bar that tastes like a candy bar and sometimes even better. It makes it easier to stick to those resolutions that we all know we struggle with come this time of year. And you listen, you want to eat healthy, but it gets so boring. And at some point you're thinking, where's the chocolate? Well, Built Bar's got you covered. They're covered in 100% real chocolate. And so I got an idea for you. Even if you're not a huge fan of working out, you can at least eat something that tastes good and is good for you. So that way when you enjoy delicious Built Bar, you can almost count it as a workout. There's some great flavors. My favorite, which is coconut almond, peanut butter brownie, raspberry, cookies and cream, salted caramel, mint brownie, and many more. In fact, Built is always coming out with new limited time flavors, so don't miss it and check it out at Built.com. Now here's the offer for you today. Go to Built.com, use promo code LOCKED15 and get 15% off on your order. Once again, that's use promo code LOCKED15 for 15% off at Built.com. So we're back here on Locked on Georgia Tech, and there's two tweets in, that I put out there, and there were two comments that I think really show, first off, it shows whoever started the ridiculous rumor that Jeff Sims is going to transfer, it showed them no way. And this was something about the quarterback battle people talking about. Now, obviously, it's been kind of over the weekend. You read your articles over on GoJackets.com or maybe other sites. And what you probably took away was, wow, when Chip Long came on staff, one of the first things he did is he made it a point to go talk to Jeff Sims. Went down to Jacksonville, wanted to pitch this new offense because you have to do that. And one of the biggest comments that he made, and this is so important, and it shows you and it sheds some light on the new age of college football, is that if we aren't recruiting our own players, someone else is. Now, a lot of people are saying, oh, that's illegal. But it's so it's so true. In this new age of the transfer portal, if you're not recruiting your own players, if you're not going after certain players, then they're being courted by someone else. Maybe it's a current player on another roster that's saying, hey, come play over here. Maybe it's something else where you know they're looking at it and they see – and for Chip Long to acknowledge that, it shows that they're serious. They knew that Jeff Sims, and they want Jeff Sims, and he said that. Jeff's extremely talented. He will be the first guy going on day one, but we want competition at all spots. So the two Zachs, you know, Pyron and Gibson, are going to push and compete. All positions will have to live up to a different standard. So, yes, he went and met, and this is, this is the perfect combination. And this is – he didn't say this, but this is what I took away from it. He's sitting in the press conference. He said, yeah, Jeff Sims is great. Jeff Sims has all the intangibles and the talent to be able to be what he wants us to be. And we want him to be hit his potential here at Georgia Tech. But we're not going to hand the keys to a kid just because he was a four-star recruit or just because he's the incumbent starter. And I think that is what the language of a great coordinator or a great coach can do. You encourage, you encourage, you encourage, you show support, but you also say, hey, he is he's talented. But we've got two guys that are also really talented, and this is going to be a battle, and no one's going to be handled. And the key part for me is all positions will have to live up to a different standard. If I'm a Georgia Tech fan and I'm sitting there listening to that, that is something I love to hear. 
the idea of living up to a different standard because the standard that was set there the past three years isn't good enough and it hasn't been good enough. And so it shows, hey, we have faith. We have trust in this guy and Jeff Sims. We know what he can be. And we and, and truthfully, we want him to be what he can be here. But also we know we've got competition and we're not going to just rest on our laurels and we're not just going to sit back and say, OK, well, just because we have this standout guy doesn't mean we're going to give anyone else a chance or really an opportunity to push him. And I think that's something that was huge. That was really big. Uh, and we, listen, he talked about that, and I want to hit that quote again. If you aren't recruiting your kids, then someone else is. Jeff Schultz over on Twitter immediately said the thing, and this is what he put. Sims and his family were immediately visited by Chip Long and to, to allay any and alleviate any concerns they may have had about the team's offense, given the transport portal option. And it's something that's very, very exciting to me to see is a guy who just gets it. Like he, 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 he understands what is happening in college football. What is this new state? And, and obviously he talked about the current state of the roster. He said, listen, we're excited about the talent. We just need to teach them to win how to win daily. And once again, people sitting there saying, what does that even mean? Or that's ridiculous. How about winning on a Saturday? Winning daily. Let, let's, let's think about that. What does it mean to win daily? Think about in your job. Winning daily, accomplishing task, um, finishing the drill all the way through and during practice, pushing yourself in the weight room, so hitting a new bar, winning daily. Maybe it's on the academic side for them. Maybe it's doing well on a test. Maybe it's making that good grade on a project. Winning the day. It's not just a football thing. It's a mentality thing. And I know a lot of people are kind of fed up, but the psyche behind college football is very important for a locker room, especially one that, you know, we talked about could be fractured, and I don't think it is anymore, but had the potential to be fractured after winning just three games in three consecutive seasons, nine games total, three each year. I think it's so important to see what he's done and what he's brought in in this, in this instance because – to be able to say these type of things, the new standard, winning each other daily, yes, you're going to get double thumbs up from me and an A on your report card for those kind of comments. But I think it's very important to talk about and see exactly how he attacked that press conference. It's positive, reinvigorating, but he's also real. This standard was not set below. This standard was not set to where we wanted it. It was below the standard, well below. We've got to break that up. And it's going to be tough, he said. He said, because these kids are not used to this. They're not used to that. And when you're not used to something, there is a trial period. But I think there's a lot of excitement to go around. I think there's a lot of things to be excited about, just in that sense, because it has the opportunity to be something very, very beneficial, very, very crucial for the future of this roster. And like we've kept saying, is the runway long enough? Chip Long signed a two-year deal. I'm going to tell you right now, more often than not, a offensive coordinator is not going to sign a two-year deal to a school that's going to fire their coach in 12 months. That's all i got to say about that. I, I don't see that happening. I think Jeff Collins probably has two years with his current staff. That's how I'm We'll talk about that a little bit on. We're going to have a special guest later on in the week talking about it, a former player himself here on Locked on Georgia Tech. But I want to let you know I'm so thankful that you have decided to make Georgia Tech your first listen each and every single day. Go check out my friends over at Locked on Bets to get those locks in because we had a wild and wacky, wild and wacky NFL division around. And it's only going to get crazier from here with the championship games coming up next Sunday. Hey, we appreciate it each and every single day. Make sure to drop a follow at Bryce underscore Coon. Keep growing the Twitter fan base as well. We're going to do some uh, things. Also, make sure to join the Discord. If you don't know how, the Discord link is going to be down below here in this YouTube video link and over on the podcast form. We appreciate it. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Happy Monday. And hey, let's go Jackets.